Man, I just swear. There aren't enough babies in these commercials nowadays, man. Oh. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome, Spider Monkeys. It's your host with the most, Paul Cantu, coming at you guys with a pickups. This is gonna be pickups number five. Five fingers plus one thumb. So this is gonna be uh, pickups number five in here, San Francisco edition. Basically, where I show all you guys what I got in San Francisco. Also, as bone full footage. Yeah, forget them uh, boneless chicken wings. I will be including the winner of my giveaway in this video. So, stay tuned for that. And before I get into my gear, I would like to sincerely apologize for all of the vulgar, vulgarity, vulgarness in my last trip to the thrift. You know, you know, just ignore those words. Put mental bleeps where those words are in the last video. And uh, my videos are going to be more clean from now on. So, we stay hygienic up in here. So first of all, what we have on is a little Adidas jacket. It cost me nine dollars and eighty-one cents. Actually, it was retail twelve bucks. You know, used at a resale store. The nice woman was like, "Hey, sir, I'll give that to you for nine dollars." And I was like, nine dollars? That's like roughly what, eight point six three pounds?" I was like, "Oh yeah, yeah, mental mental conversion." And as you see, it has the lavender. It has the maroon purple. It has the white. It has TV Hill right here. And uh, let me do the spin around. Three stripes on the back, son! Another pickup I got was this sick Hype Beast hat. Okay, so usually I do not buy like expensive brands like that because I'm more of a like thrifter all day. But when things are on sale, I will pick them up. So I got this here, Pink Dolphin, um, like trucker snapback right there with the intricate little like gold leafing and stuff right there. And there was actually a streetwear store where everything in the store is like 50% off. They had $70 new LeBrons. This hat was 20 bucks and normally is 45. This thing was sick and I freaking love it. But not as much as I love you guys. And then to go with this hat, I got these gravasses. I got these gravises right here. Um, they also are that like sick, like, I don't know what you call it. Like almost mint green, but a little bit darker like colorway right here. And they say Gravis, of course. They're like white in that sick green. And these were actually $25. Moving on! Gator! Gator! Alligator! Alright, if you guys haven't already, get your sock game up, son. So check it. One, two, three, four, five. So this year's sock I have, I call it the Black Cat. AKA, if you walk across me, you got bad luck, son. Whoosh. But yeah, this bad boy was um, $1.50. The pair of socks was $3. And somewhere along the line, um, I have a lost cat, so uh, I posted signs, I walked around for days, but uh, no one found my smelly cat. Alright, next up in the, in the sock department, they uh, had a huge store in San Francisco that only like sold socks, it was like sock heaven. And so uh, I hooked it up with this uh, trumpet player uh, sock right here, so we got the Trumpster on deck right there. This was originally $12, I got them for $3. They're just sick. They can be worn like formally or like when I just go to the street and I start playing my uh, my favorite instrument, aka my armpit. Oh, then the last pair of socks I have are these. Will I ever wear them? Nah. But I got them. Do you? No. But uh, yeah. So maybe I'll. Then next up, we'll get into the accessorize. So uh. I got three bracelets. The first one, actually got four. The first one is this just normal Catholic bracelet right here. I got it for a dollar from a cute little uh, tamale lady on the street. She hooked it up and I got it in black and I got a brown one as well for two bucks. Then I got this sweet like turquoise, I don't know if this is like a, almost like a Buddhist rosary type bracelet. Um, or I don't even know if that's turquoise, but this light blue like wooden bracelet, beaded bracelet. And that was 50 cents. And then I got this sweet tiger eye um, bracelet right here for five dollar in Chinatown. And like all the tiger eye there was like 12 bucks, but somehow I met this miraculous sweet Chinese lovable lady who hooked me up with this for five bucks. Now to some uh, customization equipment. I got this really sick piece of fabric. Holla! This is going to be sick for like, a, I'm going to do a custom like religious jean vest, which is going to be awesome. So stay tuned for that. I just need to find a vest. If you guys have one, hit me up, size small or medium. I got you. Moving into the random items I got in San Francisco. Um, I got this awesome Shwayze CD for a buck. If you don't know who Shwayze is, you better jam them. 
when you think you have a zit as I do, like right in the middle of my forehead, looking like I'm getting sniped, how do I check it? Look at this, look at this sick little mirror. Look at that. Look at that. Got a pelican mirror on deck. Mm, what you got going on here? Oh, is that a Mishka? Yeah, it is. How much was that? Our girl's like twelve fifty. Twelve fifty. Damn, out there's like a million dollars. No, I got it for twelve fifty, girl. Also, you know, sometimes you gotta pick your fro. So when you do so, you wanna do it with class, style, and aquaticness. So as you can see, I got this little fish comb. Bam. Look at that. Check that out. You see my waves? You see these waves? You don't see these waves? You don't see these waves? You better ask somebody if you don't see those waves. So, drum roll please. <laughs> That's not an actual drum roll. Anyways, the winners of this giveaway are Mike X Storm. You won the chain. You're the second place winner. Second place winner. So Mike X Storm and brrr, psh, the, <laughs> the actual winner um, of the two snapbacks is AJD Motorcycles 1997. You won the two hats. You guys hit me up in my messages with your addresses and I will have these mailed to you momentarily. So anyways, thank all of you guys who uh, participated in the giveaway and who liked my video. So thank you guys for watching this pickups. Please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already. Be sure to check out my second channel and I just made an Instagram. My Instagram name is Paul the Artist Cantu. Follow me on that. There's going to be some cool like vintage gear slash thrift pics posted and also my art posted on there. And then check out Paul the Artist Cantu, my second YouTube channel. I have dope art on there, so check that out. And uh, thank you guys for watching once again. San Francisco does have dope stuff, so keep it real in the uh, free freaking world. And peace, people. I love you guys. Bam.